touch yeah, you. Yeah, you're doing big man. That's what you're doing about this. You went out. I didn't. I didn't. This is the rules. What's happening people, it's the Gaffer and welcome back to the Wrongans YouTube channel. This week we're back again in league action and we're playing against a team called Kingfisher. Played Kingfisher three times a season, two times in like a, um, a two-legged cup game. We won the first one 6-4 and we drew the second one 3-3. Three, three. Then we played them in the league and we drew 1-1. One, one. So they're the only team that we've dropped points to this season. This is the league table and uh, as you can see uh, they are not near the top basically so um it was two points that we missed out on that we probably should have got so this week we're trying to make that right so we're playing away from home we're back at church street like we were last week uh, but this week we're playing on pitch two which is around the front basically uh the pitch is in it's not bad it's a bit of a wet day uh so it's not you know it's not bad for trying to play a bit of football so we're not going to complain the time is currently 9 55 if you can see that um and obviously the boys are late if they're here any time after 10 14 so we'll have to wait and see what's going on yeah yeah you? yeah i'll go on not much no. back man oh we just absolutely lamb shanked it no, ah i left my socks good <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you still hold the fan anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you ain't got no, socks. You can flip it. 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 I do my thing. Trust me. Let me flip it. Heads or tails, Marty? I'm like heads. My God, it's good though. My God, it's good though. Oh, that is Oh, yeah. Do you know why? You know why? As he you know why? Yeah, he no, re-roll, re-roll no, in the bank, no, in the bank, no, in the bank. No, 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 no. Ricky, that new hat as well. Oh, Reece, he's got a haircut. Another new haircut? He's got a haircut. Bro, what's going on underneath his hat? Woo! He has got a trim. Oh, that's the hat on. That's a new hat as well, though. A man come with a new trim with a new hat. It's not. Let me see, let me see it quickly, man. What's that, Ralphie? Wow. Oh, you got one last week as well! No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Woo! Brandon, this is why I'm bad at Let me just peck off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, did you take that in? Oh. Okay, I'll yes! I'll do it again. I'm on flames! Surely, um, I start? You know what I mean? Wild, man. About four or five months? Four or five months in a while, bro. In a while. But it's your injury. It's been a long time. Get them rusty, the side. Get rusty, that. Get them out in the warm up. You know, they got a rusty one there. He's I'm ready, though. though. You ready, yeah? <laughs> Kick combo a bit nice. A bit saucy. Like the red, like the red on red. Yeah. Let's get straight into this week's lineup. In net, we had Heald De Gea with a back four of George G, Ricky, K, and Lee. A midfield three of Jack, Mardi, and Sean. Kyle and Gomez on the wings. And Big Boy H up top. The three subs on the bench this week were Alex, Captain Fantastic Toby, and our new player, Josh. So, as you can hear there, the wind was crazy this week. Uh, it was blowing us all over the gaff and when I've obviously gone to edit this video uh, I've noticed that the audio is crazy, but here just as crazy as the audio. So is our start 1-0 Kingfisher So within 15 seconds Kingfisher one up. How are we gonna react to this now? Uh, I've never seen us concede a goal so quickly in my life I don't even know if I've seen a goal conceded that quickly in football in general But here we're two minutes in and the centre-back's done a nice Ball over the top, another one. It's come through to the seven. Surely not. 2-0 Kingfisher. So within two minutes, we're 2-0 down. And to be honest, all the credit's got to go to Kingfisher. They've obviously started, come straight out of the blocks, and we're still in the changing rooms. Uh, so 2-0 down. Uh, and now the boys have just got to show what, what they're made of, really. 
Kyle here on the right hand side has put it across the box. It's landed to Gomez. He's had a poke at it, but it's over the bar. Things are going from bad to worst. As if we weren't killing ourselves at the moment, snipers are out killing us too. Now there's no doubt about it, it's been an awful start so far. I can't believe we're 2 0 down so early in the game. But uh, here, the boys are trying to put a press on the keeper here, and it's caused a mistake. The ball's landed to Kyle. Gomez has picked it up in front of goal. What can he do? So he just stepped up to the free kick now and driven it low. It's gone into an area. It's fallen to Gomez. Ref's giving it offside. So we're starting to put on a bit of pressure now, sustaining attacks. We've got a throw in here on the right hand side. He just put it across the goal. It's a bit too far, but it still landed to Gomez. Gomez has cut it across into Sean. What can Sean do? He's blazed it over the bar. So it's taken us about 10 minutes to get into this game, but we're finally here. He just picked up the ball here in the middle of the park and he's played a lovely ball out to Kyle. Kyle's cut it across the goal, but it's just a little bit too long for Mardi. The keeper gets there in time and he's done well to deal with that. Now, what's annoying about this situation is that we knew exactly what sort of threat Kingfisher posed. Like, we know that what they like to do is, as soon as they get the ball, kick it long and hope that their strikers can chase it because they've got a few quick lads up, up top. Uh, and that's what they're doing again here. It's, it's been kicked all the way up. Ricky's missed the kick there and it's landed to their striker. I believe his name is Rio. Uh, he's doing a few step overs here uh, and he, he does something, he does well. Uh, we don't catch it. Ricky seems to clatter him. Uh, and that was actually the end of his game, unfortunately. He was injured. But in general, shout at him for getting a goal within 13 seconds. So we go again now. Uh, Ricky here has played it into Jack. Jack's done a lovely little pass around the corner to Kay. And we've sent Lee out down on the left-hand side. Lee's looking up and he's played Gomez in behind. Gomez one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's put it in towards goal. And the centre-back's done well to get to that. So we're finally starting to get the ball on the floor and try and pass it about a bit. And uh, Ricky here's on the right hand side, played it into George G who's filling in that right back this week. He's played it up into H but unfortunately he's cut out by the number four. He had a fantastic game by the way, so shout at him. It's come to the keeper. The keeper's cleared it only as far as Ricky. Uh, and Ricky's just looking up now, what can he do? He's got a lovely cross on him. This one's gone in the box. So now we're finally, finally starting to get into it. You can see Gomez here. He's played it into Jack, playing in that pivot role. He's played it into Mardi. Mardi's looked out wide into Lee, and Lee's played it into Harry. Uh, it, this is this is much better. Hage has played it back into Jack. Jack sent it back out wide to the right. This this is the sort of football we want to be playing. Gomez has put it out to Ricky on the right hand side. Ricky's got a lovely cross on him. They've cleared it though. So we're ending this half much better than we started it, thank God. Uh, there's no way we could have carried on conceding every minute. It would have been nuts. Uh, but here, Gomez has picked it up on the right-hand side and he's going at this fullback. I, I tell you what, fullbacks do not want to see Gomez one-on-one. -on -one. I'll, I'll be real with you. But this time he's come inside. Uh, he's been fouled by two of them and that's a free kick. H has stepped up. What can he do? Hits the wall. Hits the wall. Hits the wall. And then Jack hits the wall too. That's half time. I say it every week, please subscribe to the channel and support the boys and make sure you put notifications on. Follow us on Insta at the Wrongans FC and follow us on Twitter at the Wrongans FC. Now, it's normally at this point that you hear some sort of inspirational team talk or you know the boys bantering or something like that but i'll be honest with you uh, the audio on the camera was just messed up at the moment i'm telling the boys some crazy stuff i'm saying you know you gotta be better and all of this talk and um you can't hear any of it so uh yep yeah, that's me talking over it and i just want you guys to use your imagination and uh imagine that it's the best team talk you've ever heard it's calm down now but only one goal behind yeah 
All we need is two to win. But I can tell you for free, we will, we will score more goals if we just keep up tight. If you want to send it in behind, do it. Yeah? But be ready to chase you lot at the, at the top, yeah? The, the time when we're going to be impatient, we want to pull, we want to press, that's when they've got the ball. Yeah? Be aggressive when they've got the ball. Then when we've got it, take your time and we'll find the goal. All right? We're going to make two substitutions off the bat straight away. Um, Alex, you're going to come on for Lee. Alex, you're going to go left back. Um, and Jack, you're going to come on for Josh. Um, Josh, you're going to go uh, midfield. You're going to be just the deepest in the three. Feel free. He's got to move more. The holding one, he's got to move. Josh is now on. He's got to move. Keep getting him moving. Oh, boy, just get out of there. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's get this dumpy, man. Remember, what is the title? Hey, someone said, someone said, Paul Scholes. <laughs> hey, Paul! Hey, Paul! Hey, Paul Scholes! So we did actually make two substitutions at halftime. We brought Josh, the new boy, on for Jack in midfield, um, like a straight swap. And we've done another straight swap in Alex coming on for Lee at left back. Boy, well done! Martin hey! Good shot! Excellent! Excellent! Look, I've got to give major props to uh, Kingfisher, I'll be honest with you. Um, they've given us a good game so far. And here the number 15 is just powering down that left-hand side. And he has a pop and he's just wide. But shout out to Kingfisher, man. They, they gave us a good game this week, I, I can't lie to you. Um, here they've got a free kick and he has done well to catch it. And hopefully we can set off the break now. It's come out here to Alex on the left hand side and this is what he offers when he's on the left because he's got that lovely wonderful left foot he can just put a lovely ball into H and H should do better there keeper's got it and yet again it looks like Kingfish has come out a much better team um, at the start of the half uh, here the number 15's done well and he's played a nice pass into the 12 he's one on one with Heal Heal does well to save it uh, and we're here starting the counter attack. Josh has played it into Mardi. How quickly can we get up the pitch now? Mardi's running straight through the middle. He's beaten two man there. He's running straight towards the defenders. That centre back's done well, but he's only cleared it as far as Sean. Sean looks up. What can he do? He's found Martin here. Martin Gomez on the right hand side. Gomez has played it into Kyle, but it has been slowed down now. The, the counter attack slowed down. They've got defenders back in the box. But Kyle's done well on the right hand side. Put it across the goal, and the keeper's caught it. He's come out here to Kyle on the left hand side and he's tried to put the ball into the box. Defender's done well and it's only come out as far as Mardi. He sold him a bag of Maltesers. And that's a free kick in a good position for the wrong ones. H, Alex and Sean stepping up here. Alex runs over it, H hits it and it hits the wall. But it's only out as far as Ricky, who's played it into Mardi. Mardi here on the right hand side. Probably could have gone down there. Got two men on him now. Beats them both, looks like a penalty to us. Ref doesn't give it. They've tried to clear it now, it's come out to George G. He's ran it into Ricky, and Ricky's won us another foul. So Alex has stepped over this one, he's done it before, but this one's just over the bar. The boys have done well here to put pressure on the 15, and he's tried to send it long for the 14, but he has done well to clean up, and it's come out to Alex here on the left hand side. What can we create here? It's come to Kyle, uh, he's held up the ball well, and uh, he's played it back into Josh in the midfield. A bit of a sloppy touch there and they've pounced on it. The 12 has won the ball back. It's come to the 14. He's running straight towards goal now. Surely, surely they're not going to get a third. And there it is. 3-1 Kingfisher. Boys have really got to turn it around now. That was the worst thing that could have happened to us. We've now got half an hour to try and turn this game around. We need three goals to win it. Uh, and that's what we need to do. Uh, here, Kyle's on the left-hand side and he's played it in behind to Gomez. And that was a chance to get straight back in it, but uh, we haven't made it. As I said, there's about 25 minutes now that's left. Um, and we, we've got to do this. At the moment, Port Louis are playing on the pitch next to us uh, and they're currently winning their game. So if we do lose this game, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to win this league. Uh, here, Mardi's come on the right hand side. He's put across the goal and there's no one there. So we've got to find something now. We've got to get a goal soon because we don't want to leave it to the last, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to be trying to get three goals. We need to get something now. Uh, we've won the ball back here on the left hand side and it's played into the middle, into Mardi. Mardi's looked up for H. Finish, finish, get the ball! Get the ball! So we're back in the game now, 3-2, with 20 minutes left in the game. Surely we can get something out of this now. 
as much as the time's ticking down, we've still got to be patient. Uh, and we still got to try and work our way towards the goal. Sean here's picked up the ball and he's played a lovely pass into Gomez. Gomez has taken a touch inside, had a strike. It's come out to Kyle. Kyle's shot. He scored, but the refs called it offside. Now, look, we don't think it is offside. And I've put a line across the pitch, but it's a bit difficult with the angle. But you guys tell us what you think. Was it offside or was it not offside? Let us know. To be fair to him, this number four, he's had a great game uh, today, but the wind sort of killed him there on his clearance. Uh, it's come out to Kyle on the right hand side and he's put a delightful ball across the goal. H has got us back in this. So now in the 70th minute, we're back level for the first time since the first minute. Uh, and here Mardi's picked up the ball in the middle of the park and he's running straight at them and he's lost control of it and he's tackled the captain here and the ref's come and shown him a yellow card. We've got to keep our heads on now because we've still got a goal to get. So we've got to stay switched on now. The number four has sent a long ball all the way up and Josh has got his head to it here. It's landed to this guy in the middle. He's done a nice little turn but somehow it's ricocheted off him. The seven's in behind and Hio has kept us in this game. We don't call him Hio De Gea for no reason. What a save that is. And here Ricky has sent it forward and we're out on the break. H has taken a nice touch, brought it down, put it under control. And Mardi here is on the right hand side. He's put a lovely ball to Gomez. So for the first time in this game, we're finally in the lead uh, and there's about 15 minutes to go. We've made a substitution and swapped Toby for Kyle. Uh, Toby's gone into midfield and mardi has gone out on the right hand side. There's no way that we've worked this hard to get back into the game and we're just going to let this go. Again, the number four here is on the ball. He's played it to the number eight and Mardi's putting pressure on him here. Fantastic pressure. He's tried to win the ball back, but the eight's gone down. And what actually happens here is that Mardi has pushed him with his arm. Uh, they're calling for an elbow, uh, but the number eight's tooth actually broke. So um, fair play to him. You know, football, it, it, it can be a rough game. We're in the dying moments of the game now, and I've said it many times this game, but fair play to Kingfisher. This has been a proper, proper game. Like, don't get me wrong, we don't think we've been up to it this week. Uh, we, we don't think we've played the way we should have been playing. Um, but fair play to them. They exploited us early in the game, and they've proper put us under pressure this game. We're 4-3 up, um, but the game's not done yet. This right winger is just pushing this number 15 he's done this a few times this game uh, he's run all the way down the wing and toby's done well to see him out and give him a corner so the game gets a little bit controversial at this point uh kingfisher have got a corner here in the last few minutes and what actually happens is they cross the ball in the ball hits a branch drops straight onto heel uh, and then someone just jumps all over here and scores a goal uh, at this point we don't know what the ref's given so we're surely coming to the end of the game now uh, it's been the 90th minute for the last 10 minutes or so uh, the ref's been given extra time because obviously there's been a lot of stoppages in this game uh, but Alex has won it here in the middle and he's played it out to Gomez Gomez has played it into H can H finish it he doesn't and even me watching this back, uh, I'm looking at my clock thinking, rah, how is there still time added on? Uh, Josh has won this ball and played it into Mardi. Uh, the party tricks are coming out now. Uh, he's running straight through the middle there. Ref's not giving it. So somehow there's even time for one more highlight. Uh, it's come here to Josh and he's played it into Mardi. mardi has gone back into Josh. He's played it into H. Somehow the refs called this offside. Uh, and the keeper saved it anyways. Although you can't hear it, that is the full-time whistle. We actually got away with it. Um, 
boys done really well to come back from 3-1 down. Uh, I can only praise their heart, but we shouldn't have been that sloppy in the beginning. Uh, as you can see from the league table on the screen, we're still top of the league, um, but we still do have to play Port Louis twice this year. Uh, so those are going to be massive games. So I asked you before the game, are you going to bring something? Are you going to score winners? Well, <laughs> I had to make up for some of the stuff I did. <laughs> so, you know, I thought that's the least I could do. <laughs> After haste, I hate us again. No. Where's Marley? Marley, Ellie, 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 and and I'll be honest with you, I'm jealous. I want to see. I want. I want to be feeling the same things. Yeah. And we have got two opportunities to feel like that: the cup and the league. But today we put that in jeopardy. Yeah. And and through you lot's hard work, we worked back and we won the game, innit? And we're still in this now. Yeah. It now comes down to our games against Port Louis. We've got two two games against them. Hopefully they're not back to back. But we've actually got three. We've got the cup final and the two games against them in the league. Yeah. All cup finals. All there's probably only another three or four league games left as well, yeah? So now, from, from now till the end of the season, we need to work the same way we did in that, in that second half, to try and win the game. Every game means everything now, yeah? Because if you don't want to feel like what they're feeling like over there, we've got to put the work in. That first five minutes can't happen again. It can't, all right? It can't. But um, overall, I don't want to sound like too down in it, because at the end of the day, you lot came back, you lot showed your heart, and you won us the game and it's so fantastic and well done. Yes, we won 4-3, yes, great win, yes, great heart, but we need to be better. There's no way we should be conceding two goals in five minutes. We are much, we are a much better side than that's showing. Again, conceding silly goals. Last recent weeks, goals, goals went down, but again, 2-0, shouldn't be conceding two goals against Steve Lott. We know that, yeah? So let's just be better, lads. Like, good win and that, but again, we strive for greatness, so we can't be content with that winning, what, 4-3 against them, lot.